All right, so this is the floor where I get all my shit done. Is this, is this chronological in any or any way? Is this, this whole thing is chronological. So it goes from 2003 oh my God. all the way down to now. A lot of BMI, a lot of platinum stuff back there. You don't, don't worry about that. Little Bow Wow gave me this. So there's just plaques on plaques on plaques, stacks on stacks on stacks. Wait, is the big ass chain real? Yeah, I got that here. Oh, yeah. that's all diamonds. That's all diamonds. It's the stupidest Bro, thing I've mean, ever paid for. $50? 400000 for no reason. Oh, Could have got somebody a house. <laughs> what are okay. these, though? These are all the top hats from over the year. Those are the fat boys. <laughs> Come give us some. This is Roger. That's Rollo. I thought you were about to say Hammerstein. I was like, <laughs> 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 All right, so now we get to the Nappy Boy Studios. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where most of the magic happens. Uh, Where's the rest of it happen? Upstairs in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 What's happening, guys? This your boy, T-Pain, and welcome to Red Bull Remix Lab. I am here with my boy, Kenny Beats. Happy to be here. Are you, though? I'm so happy. It's early for me. I like we're at the crib, you know? It's not we're like, at the crib. We're not at the studio. It's not clandestine. Absolutely. It's I didn't have vibe. to wear matching shoes for this. It's yeah, going to be great. This is going to be great. You're not uh, You're not taller than me at all. So, um, guys, we're about to do some cool shit right now. We're about to create a track together. I feel like I'm just going to remix you. I know you play keys. I know you do everything. Mm -hmm. okay. I feel like they've been putting you to no work every time I've watched this show. It's like you just be chilling. So I'm about to have you play a little key. Maybe just we do something quick and easy. That's fucked up. I had an easy job before this. Yeah, no, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just pull up something. I feel like we just do a little quick R&B, rappy, fun. R&B, rappy. 160, high energy. R&B rapping, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both. This how we're doing that. All right. I mean, if you got if, if you got sounds, I'm ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is have me do work. I'm gonna have you play some chords just to start it off. Hold it's on. fucked up. Come on, bro. Yeah, a lot of sounds. Come on, bro. That's what I do. Sounds are my. It name. is. This, my name is Kenny Beats. So I better have. You got You gotta have some sounds. <laughs> You know, uh, I still I still dabble in the, in the beats. Let's go jazz. <laughs> Free jazz <laughs> remix lab. <laughs> I put a little swag on it. So you don't need a pedal? Oh shit, we go up! Explain to the people what you just did. I just brought it up. I literally just took it up like a couple keys, a couple semitones. I took all the MIDI, all the piano you played, and just do 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 do. What's the technical term for that? Uh, it would be not a reharm, but a transpose or a. Okay. Is that what that is? Is that it? Transpose? Reharm is what I've heard a lot, but transpose well, a is, is like what it would be called in a, in a D, in DAW. Is it reharm when you take one chord change and put like a different bass note and it makes it a different chord change? That's a thing, too. We're getting super Berkeley. I don't yeah, know. it's a oh, lot. Oh, it's oh, so oh. much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much. All right, so you, you got my vibes on there. I got your vibes. Hold on. You pick sounds, and I'll keep adding shit. You want to? All right, here. Take this. Play that. You know what key you're in now that I moved you? Nope. Let's do it there. Right, just let me know. I'll, I'll find it. I'll just loop that whole section. Oh, what was that now? Bro, it's so stop. That was crazy. I don't work in this. Fire. Woo! Fire, 
Shut up. No, I'm joking, that's fucked up. <laughs> All right. So we got a bass on that. I'm really making you work. I was gonna, I was gonna, slowly, I'm just gonna step all the way back. <laughs> you know I'm gonna have fucking responsibility on this episode. <laughs> you know, bitch. <laughs> all right, so uh, this is the weird way to do it. This is like the 2008 way to do no, it. No, this is the this is the chill gliding, and then you see it's not angry. You keep the, you know exactly what you're going for. You you're going by adjectives. I'm going by ad say that again because. You're probably the only person I've heard say that correctly. You really are going by ad adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes! No, I'm debating if I'm I said it. <laughs> I ain't thinking about it too much. Okay. I may have gone wrong here. Alright, okay, so majestic wasn't the wasn't the How about hopeful? Hopeful that this beat turns out alright. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. This is yeah. This don't, is, don't worry if stuff sounds boring. I'm gonna process everything. Nah, but I'm this make, is like this is like the right amount of lead that you want on this. For sure. attempt at that. <laughs> That's all I need. That was perfect. Oh, man. Where are you from, Kenny? I grew up in Connecticut and then New York, and then I moved to L.A. You like, can't do both. You can't say both. I don't want to say, <laughs> if, I, if I say Connecticut, it just takes all the soul right out of it. Like, I can't, I, I'm going to start with Connecticut, bro. Like, <laughs> you can't say both. I hate that you called me on it, because I, like, I try to dance around it every time someone asks me so hard, and someone's like, you would have just, just said New York, and I'm like, bro. Oh, bro, man. Let, let me live. They ain't got the same weather. I'm in Atlanta right now. Yes, they do. What? It's different weather. Bro, it's all one train stop. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not. It's really not. Yes, so it far is. away train stop. No, it's not. It takes 30 minutes to get from my mom's house to the city. And my dad's house, like, 10 how, minutes. How fast is the train going? Bro, it's a train. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. What was that, Japanese bullet train or what? <laughs> Elon, Elon Musk gave me a little <laughs> early ride. Oh, shit. The reason I don't ever bring it up is because I feel like all the friends I made when I was in Connecticut, like, no one really did music or anything like that. So uh, I had to go to New York to meet, like, the people I really I would say Connecticut. To. I would say, because, you know, when I say I'm from Tallahassee, which I am, but, you know, it's like, oh, shit, not a lot of people came out of there. But you know who did come out of there? Lead singer from Creed. Wow, Scott Stapp. That guy. Yeah. And uh, Dead Press is from Tallahassee, too. Also legends. Also legends. Do you hear the seagulls? We just transported. We're not even in Atlanta. Fuck it. <laughs> we're, we're at sea. <laughs> at sea on y'all fuck niggas. There we go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that lead you just did, this little, oh, this little noodling. I'll take the click off. I basically cut it up, two of the pieces you did, and I put it in this RC20, which is like, this is just how to make everything a sample. If you got a, a boring stock piano, okay. the first piano that comes up in your plug-in and mm -hmm. it just doesn't sound like it has any feel to it, you could put like the wobble on it. And start doing a little detune. See how that moves up and down. All these distortions. Oh, this is why all my beats sound like trash, because I don't do this stuff. Yeah. So I basically I, <laughs> yeah, I just exactly. started doing I start doing like little EQ <laughs> stuff, just adding like space to the sound. Cause if you take the RC off, that's what it sounded like. 
trying to stop. Oh, a little warmer, a little more sampley. Oh, so I need a person for that, cause once I do, once I do what I just did, I'm yeah, done. That's why I'm here. That's the beat now. And then on, <laughs> on top of that, this is the Valhalla I was talking about. So Valhalla is just a reverb company. They make all my favorite reverbs. Oh, because Valhalla is Viking heaven. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. That's what that is, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, right. It's yeah. Viking heaven, right? Yeah. All right. I, I, I've never heard someone call it Viking heaven, but yeah. That's what that's that's, that's what they're all striving to go to. Like, to Valhalla! <laughs> right? When they got double-sided axe and shit? I think. <laughs> all right, so at this point, we got keys. We got a bass line. Right. We got a synth layer that'll come in a little later, make it interesting. Solid. And we have seagulls for no reason. Seagulls? To, now, okay. I do this in every beat. It's not just seagulls. It'll be kids. And, and that's what and that's what I'm, that's what I, that's what I want to talk about, because yeah. you do this in... Every beat. Yeah. Now, I I explain Explain the seagulls, for one, first. I do the seagulls for the same reason I put that little lead you did in that filter. It's like, I want things to just feel less stock. Even if it's just a piano and just a bass, if mm -hmm. you put play a playground, I'm talking about like minus a million decibels, like so low in volume that you can right. barely hear it. It just gives all the simple stuff a feel, and it kind of like, when you play the beat in a room where someone just played a beat before that and it's just right. a piano and a bass sound and Absolutely. mine's a piano bass sound and like this little bit of ambiance. I get that. Especially for artists, I feel like, I don't know. I don't really write like that except for with people, but I feel like <laughs> as soon as that comes on, yeah, gives you a little something extra to go off or a, a more nostalgic. Okay. You feel me? And okay. I, especially with simple stuff. Like even if I do a beat that's big 808s and one sound, if I just got that rustling underneath it, all the simple stuff feels intentional. I feel mm. like, you know what I mean? Because when people hear you do something really simple and to the point with five sounds, sometimes it's like, oh, this is really quick or this is just good, a good idea to get the right around one night. When you put right. something like that, it's like, oh, this whole thing is intentional. Everything has a vibe on purpose. He's trying to set this scene. That's fire. I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, wait. Wait, take, take us back because this didn't just come from you knowing you can do this. I always ask people, how did you know you could do this? Like, what was, what was the background of this whole the beginning. Trick, like the trick with the ambiance and all Not that? Not even the just... trick with the ambiance, just knowing that you can just do these kind of beats and, and, and make shit like this. Like, what was the back, what's your, what's your whole background? All right, so I played guitar since I was a really little kid, like seven, eight. Played... That's fucked up, you know how to play guitar? My whole life, yeah. I'm, I think I'm the only person with 30 guitars that doesn't know how to play any of them. <laughs> you play everything else. You play, <laughs> you play a little bass though, don't you? I get a little bass in, yeah. I get a little bass One in. I'll sequence. Time. I can sequence a lot of shit. Yeah. I think that's why I get most of my shit. I'll make it sound like I can play it for sure. But like, no like what you just said, like I played guitar, I played drums, I did all this stuff. And when I was 15, I remember like, because none of my friends really did music like that. The only way to really get a reaction out of my friends was make a beat or like something that'd be more similar to what's going on on the radio. That's I, me with rapping. Yeah. yeah. Like I could get, it was really to get a reaction out of my friends. And so when I would play guitar for my friends, I played a John Mayer song for my friends. They're like, you weird, bro. Like, what is, what is this about? But like, if I play someone, me ripping off a Timbo beat, and they don't know I ripped off a Timbo beat, and I'm right. 15. Everyone in my car is like, "You made this!" Like, I remember I used to watch uh, Fade Fable to Black, ah, the, the Jay Z yeah, documentary, yeah. and that scene where Timbo has the jug, yeah. <laughs> the jug, and he's dancing. Yeah. I used to watch that scene, and like I was. That's where Polo got his neck jug, bro. <laughs> That's Polo Polo neck jug. I would literally like thing. remake beats off like YouTube and stuff in the media center at my high school, and okay. then I'd play them in my car. My friends, my friends didn't know I was like remaking shit. They just thought I was making beats, and they were like, oh, "These are crazy." <laughs> and then, and that, it was like me doing like the dirt off your shoulders melody. Hell like, yeah! But it gave me the confidence boost to start doing shit on my own and just making stuff. Okay. And then I went to Berkeley for guitar. Uh, but I was also a music business major. And I, as soon as I got there, my first day, I was like, wow, I'm not going to be a guitar player. Everybody is <laughs> way better than me, for real. Like, okay. I was in the hallway on my first day of college, and I'm walking through the hallway, and I got my guitar made to do my uh, little audition. Yeah. It's kids sitting there like, hey, will you grab me something at the store? Like, playing stuff like, I could going never crazy. play. Yeah, so I was like, I'm going to start really focusing on production. Yeah. So ever since high school, I was recording people in my dad's closet. In college, I was recording people in my closet at my dorm room. Now I'm recording people in my little studio in California. Damn. I'm lucky. I'm with so many people right now who are just growing. See, you like, work, but that's the thing. You work with a lot of great fucking people. I do. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you work with people that look into the future yeah. and people that can actually see visions beyond how famous they are right now. That's true, for sure. Who, who, are, who are a lot of the artists you work with right now? Um, I do a lot of stuff with Rico Nasty. I do a lot of stuff with Vince Staples. I do a lot of stuff with... Fat Man Key, Freddie Gibbs, uh, got Gucci Man's next song coming out. I got a bunch of shit with A Boogie, Ski Master Slump Guy. 
Let's list just appreciate those real quick how funny Ben Staples is. Oh my god, um, I hate him so much. I hate just, him so much. Just over the top funny. He ruined my life. <laughs> like he, he he came and did that show I was talking about. And he called me the police on it like five times in his freestyle. Like he just kept saying Kenny Beats is the police over and over. That makes sense. Any, <laughs> bro, anything I do on social media is just oh yeah, thanks officer. I like, <laughs> yeah, appreciate like even if I, I'll post like the most like motivational for the youth like nope. hey I hope everybody this morning like gets out put your friends on da -da -da, and they're like cool sergeant yeah. like no matter what it is and it's just thanks hey, Vince like lieutenant I hate Vince bro I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do some drums I think we got a good bass you think that's a good bass yeah let's hear what we got so far uh -oh. Is it too jazzy? No, I'm gonna turn it up, watch. The You're drums. gonna turn this up. The drums gonna turn it up. I felt jazzy for a second. I felt like I was real fine. You're a jazzy guy. You're, the... You're a very refined individual. Well, I did this earlier and I was like, oh shit, I got hips. And then I was like, I need to do something. <laughs> and then we got, ooh. I will cry right now. Well, we don't want you to do that. We need to just, we want to run your makeup down. I think drums, I'll wear makeup. <laughs> All right, so what's the wait? Whoa, wait! Come on, stop! I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Give it there. a second. No, it's too late. Give it there. a second. What's happening here now? What was that? This is a bunch of Latin percussion. I'm gonna chop a tiny piece of it out and use it as a bass before I do hi hats or snares or claps. It's another little like textural thing, but on the percussion side. A bass, side. A, a B A S E. Yes. We're gonna be add some before the to B A S S. Yes. Stop. Just let me. Why don't you stop me for that? It's important. I could have did those. You want me to do that? I'm deadly with the fingers in the palm, bro. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. Come on, bro. What are you doing now? 808s. 808s. I'm basing it on the baseline you gave me, so. <laughs> This will baby basically give yeah. us a section that- You're basing it on the bass? I'm basing the bass on which the bass, the bass you gave me. But bass, like- You're basing the bass on the bass. I was about to say basically. You, <laughs> <laughs> basically, you're basing the bass on the bass. Like whenever I make beats, the easiest way for me to think about how everything's gonna feel is the bass line. So I, I usually do a bass line and then I'll do an 808 second so I can kind of like feel out what I want those notes to be without having like the kick. How you pick the pattern? It's that's my hardest thing. And instinct. That's... It's just you gotta go first instinct. Oh, okay. So I'm just trash with that. Think of it this that way: like sense. you grew up with a lot of people who did music a little bit or for fun in some capacity. <laughs> At all? Anybody? Doesn't matter. Not for, not not for fun. My Everybody I met that actually did music, they was like, I need some money. <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, like, you grew up around a lot of people who made music and this and that, but you are T-Pain. Like, your general instinct, your first thought off your head is way better than the average person. So even, I, I say this to rappers all the time who are like, man, but I want to sit here and write this for eight hours. I'm like, what you write for eight hours is going to be 15% better than that first instinct. I really feel that. Like, I feel like people- That's true. That's are, why I don't write anymore. You think it's such a high level, the first thing you say is going to have That's this innocence to it. You know anymore. what I mean? Like. I will say this, and, and and I can I can contest for both sides of this because when I just come off the dome with shit, it feels better. I love it more, and it just it just it, it feels a lot better. Do you have more written hits or more off the dome hits? Should we go back to the hallway and count? You just blew my mind right there. I'm saying. My other count. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we're not skipping over that. No, over what? So you just, like, you just did a hi-hat right now. Yeah, real quick. I'm gonna keep it. You going. can do that in Ableton? Yes. <laughs> Y'all niggas are You still on the MPC, huh? No. <laughs> on this tiny fucking keyboard back here. I'm just making old jokes. <laughs> How are you? Wait, okay. Did I? Okay, wait, okay. I'm non-supportive 
of how fast that was. <laughs> no, I'm not done yet. Give me like I need like another five. No, minutes. no, no, no. Because you know, anytime I do anything that fast, everybody's like, you couldn't have done that that right that fast, so do it again. I just did it on camera. So. <laughs> Wait. Mine is documented that I did it. You know, people way. can see this. <laughs> that was crazy. It was actually working that whole time. <laughs> I did motherfuckers in factories need that goddamn need that skill. Well, it's my, fucked up. My studio is very haphazard, so I've learned to like work quick. Everybody, and... everybody on the Death Star need that. <laughs> need that quality. Because when Darth Vader come in, you don't really know he's there, and then you get fucking force choked, and you don't know what to do because you wasn't working. But if you would have just, if you would have just looked like you was working for a second, you wouldn't get force choked. If you weren't saying shit like this, it would have been done 15 <laughs> minutes ago. We <laughs> were talking about the Death Star. <laughs> it's a real thing! All right, let me, I'm not even done with my drums, but. But what happened? I'm, I'm what are okay, we okay. talking? So like I was saying before, I had that little clap loop that's this. I chopped it up. It was like this big long thing. I really just took two little pieces of it, chopped it up. That's fucked up. With that, we're doing a clap. Hey. Then we have the, that bass line part, whatever. And then I added that, a snare to that with a little extra rhythm to it. Something. Then we got the hat with those. You did the hat right in my face. Yeah, I did. A, I only I didn't do too many rolls, too much extra stuff with the hat, but just what what constitutes a roll? Like what like what makes you do a roll sometimes? Uh, to me, it's like a shaker. Like it's another little percussive element you can do with the same percussive element. I need the hat to keep the time, whether it's halftime. You just want to use a shaker? I could, we, but we on the remix lab. I'm trying to move quick. You, feel me? <laughs> you got a, a kick on top of all that stuff, and then an open high hat with the claps, but you see how the claps fill in all that space. That would just be a hi-hat and a snare be boring. There's all that room. This is why my beats suck. <laughs> and then hold on, and then on top of that, we got uh, the 808. And I did the 808 based on your bass line that you played in two seconds. Hey, I did that pattern without hearing it though. I'm hearing it for the first time, it sounds good. I was gonna show you some of my beats after this, and now, and now, and now we're not. We're like half of the friends we were when uh, when you walked in here. So together with everything, we got two sections now. I'm not done quite yet, but this Let's, this first section is gonna feel like this. You stuck on this tempo? Cause I can. Not at all. We can we can go we can get a little speedy. Go faster. What we had right now is you just added you just added a ton of drums. I did, I did. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Okay, let me let me add. Are like, we, I'm gonna add two things. I'm gonna speed it up. Let's what else is going? But what else needs to be? Transitions is what I'm thinking. A little effects what? effects thing on the one when the 808 comes in. A little sweep into the one. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do it. Watch. Yeah, it. come on. Now show me what transitions are now. Turnarounds is what I call them, maybe. Turnaround. This makes it just makes the one of the next section hit harder to me. As soon as that 808 come in, this little swell is gonna make everybody focus on. Does it, it though? Watch. I'm I'm gonna take that clap out. What is that? What you just put there? This is a reverse symbol. That's so, fucked up. So that's like a 808 symbol just backwards. Sounds like this. <laughs> Ooh, that's hey. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 if I would have used that, I would have put a the other way. How do you mean? Oh, like on the one. Right on the one, well, I would have put the the actual symbol on see, the one. Is that, that that's too easy? Is that not a thing anymore? It's too easy. I, I heard we weren't using symbols anymore. I, 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 I've heard that. I'm not big on. I'm gonna try this. This is a little effect sound I use. Oh, see. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong key. Wrong key. Wrong key. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's. Uh, or we could do a fifth. Uh, Wait. That's it right there. That's gonna be the one. So yeah. now the swell into that. Okay. Ah, uh, we could come up on that. Even more? No, that was that was one of my ideas. <laughs> Oh! 
was off. Oh, <laughs> it, sounded, okay. it sounded good though. Little jam. Let me do an effect right there. To make it so good. that's how you arrange things. Well, how do you arrange things that fast? You just been working with Ableton for so long. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm quick on it, but also like I, the number one thing for me I notice with people's beats is the lack of. Uh, like drum drops and like little extra moments because people always have like a section with no drums, a section with drums, some of those drums, no hi hats for a section. You gotta have that. No kicks. <laughs> for me, it's even more important to have like moments like this where you have, you have everything playing, but that last second, you take everything away. Because that first clap feels so good. So, like, to me, it's just little moments it like that. It makes the impact more impactful. Exactly, especially with that swell. Right? <laughs> Wait, did we speed it up? Um, not yet. I think we should though. Wait, let's yeah, let's let's speed it up, son. I'm gonna try a whole ten. Let's see. Is this too? A whole ten. It might be too crazy, but we'll see. Oh shit. The drums happen. Good thing this isn't live. <laughs> that, that feels good to me, for real. Yeah, that feels good. Basically, a sample of a talk box. I know it's in G. I get it. I you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Let's let me hear the the section that it's in right now. I got it an octave down in the intro and an octave up halfway through the. I was about to say it's different. Yeah, there's two pieces of it, and then I put a, I put a Pan Man on it. You know my Pan Man. What is that? Oh, the Echo Boy joint. It's same. I mean, no, I mean the sound toys. Sound toys. Yeah. So this is just a really good panner. It just moves things from left to right and like. I feel like a lot of people will see an unbelievable beat I really like, and you'll see so much stuff just in the center. Absolutely. Like all the drums on top of themselves, all the keys on top of themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's something like this little lead we just did, okay. I feel like it, imagine that Music little thing origin. Mo moving around the speaker. Like, it just. That'd be me in the, in the origin. <laughs> moving around. <laughs> Bro, shut up. So I put the whole intro in that same, that that like vinyl RC20 filter. So now when it come out the intro, mm -hmm. feels like everything opens up. I like how I can see how much taller he is than me from this camera. <laughs> Because the camera's like going like over me to see him. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I got a super good idea. How about you just sing really good on this? Oh, okay. I'll try my best to not do that. That would be super tight if you could just sing good. Probably not though. Okay. I'm ready when you are. We could track. Um. All right. Because. Uh, I wanna see that birthday that. Everything what I need right now. Everything you know, anything you need right now. Okay, Sounds different good. key, A major. Gonna 
take your shirt off. Is there anything you need right now? Oh, I'm liking what I see right now. Oh yeah, that birthday suit, that's what I need right now. Oh, right now, right now. That's one track. Right, let me, let me, let me back that up. Is that, is that a background or a main? Both of these are gonna be mains. Okay. I would like both of these to be mains. Oh, what'd you just do? Copied it down. How the fuck did you do that? A, a control C? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's a copy and paste. Yeah, guys, you know, normally when I'm uh, working on my music, I do a lot of uh, pasting, you know, copying, just <laughs> musical terms. Don't worry about them. Musical terms, you guys, you know, uh, C and P is what we call it in the industry. <laughs> so. uh, 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 Yeah, no, it hurts a lot. But you know, this is theater! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do these harmonies. <laughs> Are we, you gonna? I'm just gonna try to not move. Hold on. You think you can wear that for the rest of the Yeah, easy. I'm gonna make this take as long as possible. Huh? What? Nothing. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
you have three harmonies. <sighs> this is number four. What? No, this is no, this is just the four of the main. Fourth main. Yeah. yeah. So I got uh, after the after this fourth one. You got six more. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready for that? <laughs> Are you ready for the hay? The hay is about to happen right now. Fire. Really crazy. Fire. Fuego, if you will. Are you doing a double of those? Yeah, I'll do three of those. Hey, gonna take a shirt off. Gonna take a shirt off. Is there anything you need? Are you done? Orgasmic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there a, oh! Did I hit you with the chain? Assault Betty! Oh my god. Assault! Somebody got a police! Can we hear one more time? Let, let's yes. hear what we got left. Come let's on. hear what we got left. Just all your acapellas and all Just from the, no, let's hear from the, from the jump. Of everything we did. It's your homeboy T Pain. And I'm Kenny Beats. And then what they gotta do? Subscribe to Rebel Remix Lab on YouTube to see me with this big ass chain. <laughs> <laughs>